Energy Mississippi is making sure that they are helping all across the South this hurricane season. 12 News' Jalen Anderson spoke with Energy Mississippi ahead of Hurricane Melton. Energy Mississippi is making sure they are helping those in need during this busy hurricane season. Energy crews have already helped restore power in Virginia and the Carolinas due to the devastating impact of Hurricane Helene. But the area we were working in in uh, Virginia, it was right across the North Carolina line. And, and, and I'm just going to be honest with you, some of the videos don't do this thing justice. It was just about like we saw in, you know, in Katrina back in 05. You know, you can see the pictures, but once you got the ground here, it was completely different. So, I mean, you see the videos and pictures of the roads being washed out or where they're showing the before and after pictures. I mean, it just makes it surreal once you're standing there. Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall in Florida late Wednesday or early Thursday morning, and Energy Mississippi crews are staged in Georgia, ready for what lies ahead. That's always the hope, and like I said, you know, we're hoping for the best and preparing for the worst. Um, with the way this thing is growing out in the Gulf, you know, that, that took it up another level. So we are prepared for the worst. Wilson says the work being done never goes unnoticed because bringing power back to towns after disaster has passed through makes it worth every second. When we go through these towns and like I said, everything is dark, no power. When we get there and they see us go to work and when they start seeing power and when we come back through those towns when everything is done, you know, we see signs, handwritten signs, hand-painted signs out on the side of the road that says thank you, Lyman, or thank you, Energy. And then, you know, when we have folks drive up on us, just to tell us thank you, you know, that, that's motivation right there. Energy has so, over 250 employees staged in Georgia to help with relief efforts. Jalen Anderson, 12 News.